Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Vito. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm a big fan of old school classic cars, especially old school Mercedes Benz. And today we're going to talk about this amazing W201 Mercedes 190E that I've recently acquired. So stay tuned. So this is my 1991 Mercedes 190E with a W201 chassis. It has a 2.6 M103 engine in this thing and this car is just amazing. I mean this particular one has, you know, I actually acquired it like a month ago or so but it has a lot of issues and the owner that I purchased this car from actually had told me that you know he's he's had the car for like uh two months only and then he just kind of gave up on this car because he told me that you know this car has so many problems and uh that's why he just uh got rid of this car and he sold it to me uh so right now i'm basically on a journey with this car and i have to do a lot of work on this car and i actually already did a bunch of stuff on this car so if you guys are familiar with w201 chassis they were actually made from 1980 three i believe to 1993 and actually there's there were uh, a lot of these uh, w201 chassis that were produced around the world and people love these particular chassis uh so much so um like i said this particular one has m103 inline six engine uh 2.6 liter uh displacement and uh, besides that they also used to put m102 engines the four cylinder ones uh, with 1.8 liter, 2.0 liter, and 2. Point, uh, what is it? 2.3 liter uh, inline four, like I said. 
and they also had some diesel versions like OM601 and OM602. Uh, so those were also popular. As far as the transmissions, uh, they used to have, um, they used to put uh, four speed automatic transmissions as well as four speed manual transmissions and five speed manual transmissions. So here's the story how I got this car. Uh, I got this car through Facebook Marketplace and uh, the guy who was selling it, he was actually, he, it took him forever to sell this car because I could see this car on the Marketplace for a, li a little over like probably two months and nobody actually wanted this car. Uh, and the seller who, uh, the previous owner actually owned this car, he hasn't done much. I mean, he actually, this car, um, you know, it has a lot of accumulated problems that I've been actually sorting out and fixing, you know, as, you know, I'm owning this car. So one of the few problems that I uh, actually uh, solved on it was the power seats. The power seats were not working on this car and the previous owner actually tore the whole thing apart. Like he tore the back seat uh, pad and basically he was trying to, uh, most likely he was trying to uh, hotwire the power seats because of just a bad relay. It was just a bad relay uh, that uh, was causing the power seats not to work. Another problem with this car was the headlights. The headlights actually are replaced right now, which you will see in the next videos. But uh, the headlights that used to be on here, they were all broken. Uh, the mounts were broken and actually the bezels were actually not good. They were all like painted and stuff. Somebody painted them black, so I didn't like that. And um, as you can see, the car is actually lowered really nicely. Uh, it has lowering springs and boosting shocks. Uh, so that was actually done uh, before uh, someone by someone who actually uh, owned it before the previous owner if you see what I'm saying so the previous owner who actually had this car for two months he's had, he hasn't done much he actually did some like ignition uh, you know coil and he put like a distributor in and I'm actually not sure what brand that is but he actually replaced all the distributor the ignition parts in this car and um, I mean that's a good thing but other than that I mean he didn't even care you know cleaning this car this car is actually it used to be really filthy but right now I mean uh, it's all cleaned up today I actually waxed it and I, cle I washed it and I waxed it the baby lo is looking really amazing I have a lot of big plans for this car and uh, one of those plans is actually going to be uh, painting the whole car because as you can see the clear coat I mean the car is not perfect but the clear coat you know it, it's all peeling right here and on, on the hood on the roof and the trunk lid but that's okay it's all fixable you know I'm actually really love this car so much and also don't pay attention to uh, different wheel setup you know just because uh, I tried to put those 17 inch wheels in the front and actually did not really work so well they do fit but also go over bumps they actually start rubbing so what I'm gonna have to figure out is actually I'll have to lift it up in the front a little bit so I can actually fit those nice uh, wheels also a couple more things that I did to this car was I changed the engine oil and the filter of course this is one of the first things you must do when you first acquire a car or a new car used car doesn't matter uh, so that's what I did and then I also did uh, uh, actually the accelerator linkage maintenance actually took all those uh, linkages out and cleaned them and lubricated them with grease put them all back check the air filter cleaned all that stuff up and I also fixed uh, what's really weird about this car as you will find out in future videos is well, once I got this car actually there was a lot of uh, parts that were actually loose on the car which is really weird like like for example like two 
uh strut mounts were loose literally that somebody didn't like tighten them all the way or something but they were like literally loose i had to tighten them up and also the right front wheel bearing was just like loose and i was about to lose the the wheel one day good good thing that i noticed that and checked that and um another thing that i did is actually i had the trunk all the way out uh like all the trunk liners were out i was actually cleaning some stuff over there and uh i was uh, protecting everything from rust and uh you guys will see that in the, one of the next videos as well and uh, i also did a bunch of other things like i said i fixed the power windows i fixed uh um you know i actually cleaned the, the inside and this uh, on the on this side the window regulator was not good so i replaced the window regulator put the door panel back together and unfortunately the previous owner didn't know how to uh, remove the door panel on one of these w201s so uh, instead of actually lifting the door panel up he actually like tried uh you know pulling on it pulling on it pulling on it um and that actually broke all the hooks pretty much a lot of the hooks that we're uh we're sitting on that door panel so i had to find some new hooks and actually glue them on but right now it's all fixed um and then you know some small things that the previous owner couldn't take care of was just uh you know the third brake light was not working you know then um some other things i mean pretty simple stuff i mean it, it's just i don't know and the funny thing is that the guy who used to own the car uh, i'm not gonna mention names or anything like that but uh he is a mechanic at dodge dealership and he told me he couldn't figure out this car like he told me it's too complicated i mean if you're a mechanic you know I mean, I don't know if you should complain or not, especially if you have access to all that or all the, all the other uh, stuff where you can actually look up the procedures, how stuff works, you know, you don't need to have, you know, factory repair manuals for all that stuff. So yeah that's that's what's up and as far as right now the car still needs love but i really love this car guys i mean it's just something it's it's a tiny a tiny baby but you know it's not too big not too small but it's it's a cute little car that will get you places that will get you looks and especially this beautiful red color when i first saw this car for sale i actually thought that somebody has probably just repainted the car red and i, I didn't know that actually i wasn't really um sure 100 percent whether or not this color is original or not but it is original color it's amazing i really love it so much and especially that this model is facelift it's so nice guys uh so yeah, I'm getting looks all the time. People are giving me looks, thumbs up, and which makes me feel really good, you know, but like I said, the car still needs quite a bit of work, you know. Um, I'm getting some lag on the power uh, with the engine, you know, and I have a lot of, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I have a lot of things going on and I, I've been fixing other cars and stuff like that. So, you know, little by little, I will make this car perfect uh, and I'll be working on that, but, um, other than that, I mean, it has good brakes all the way around. It has a lot of good stuff, good parts. And, you know, I will be slowly but surely I'll be making this car better and better every day. And, um, you know, this car's in good hands. So, yeah. So if you guys look at this car, um, you know, it's not perfect. Uh, at some point, it was probably just uh, had a small fender bender right here. You know, the, the bumper is damaged and all that stuff. Actually, I did replace these headlights, but I'm going to uh, replace these headlight doors. I'm going to install brand new headlight doors. And, you know, just small things like this uh, uh, Mercedes logo was missing, you know, and this grill, I don't really like this grill, so I'm going to replace that. Um, you know, it's not really my style, I think. And then uh a few more things that's you know makes me really like upset is just uh, this mono wiper is you know when it goes up it's working but it one goes uh up and down it's just uh, it's so slow because of lack of lubrication you know um and yeah but like i said other than that this car is pretty amazing i mean i'm planning to do a full paint job on this car and uh you know just make it nice uh make a 190e nice again just let me know what you guys think about this car but i'm really in love with this car it's actually my current daily driver uh and it's not perfect whatsoever uh but i'm loving this car so much and every day i'm falling more and more in love with this car so it's lowered like i said on lower springs and uh you know it's looking really good in my opinion especially like as soon as i put uh those 17 inch wheels on it it's gonna look really fire 
um, a lot more things are coming out there's gonna be a lot of videos about this car um, and as far as the interior the interior is actually really beautiful it has uh, a tan leather interior uh, you know, it's not in the best shape, but it's it's awesome. I actually keep maintaining that leather interior and the dashboard by by using the thermal protector on it uh, on the dashboard to avoid any UV rays and cracking of the dashboard. Also using uh, leather conditioner on all my seats and everything dashboard door panels just to make it nice and good and prevent wear. That's really important, actually, especially on these old school Mercedes because it, they have a hundred percent uh leather interior so it's not some bs that you actually get in brand new cars uh nowadays okay this is a true real uh stuff uh, that um you know german engineers designed and they built this car uh, with all the love and uh it's crazy this car is like 30 years old right now and it's still on the road it still gets all the looks and stuff and people just uh, keep asking me all the time about this car like what is it have yeah, you really love it you know would you sell it to me you know i'm like no that's it this this baby's mine so yeah um let me know what you guys think about my car it's actually my daily driver right now i'm really excited uh and like i said i'm slowly working on this car building it making it good nice uh and uh you know one day hopefully you know i'll make it like perfect perfect it's gonna be an ideal car so even with a shape like this uh right now is it has this clear coat peeling uh it still looks really beautiful especially uh when this sun is shining uh like this so i'm really excited and yeah guys um this is a true amazing classic enthusiast uh car so as you guys know i love these cars so much uh all these classic mercedes and like i've been telling you all that uh, no matter what shape your classic mercedes is in you have to actually go ahead and put all the love into that car uh give it all the love because these cars deserve that because after about five years we're gonna have probably no basically we're gonna have like barely any mercedes um old school mercedes left so that's why we have to think right now what we're doing we cannot just throw away all these amazing cars you know i keep seeing it all the time i go to some junkyards and uh, there are uh i'm you know classic mercedes in amazing shape just being thrown away like that you know uh, recently there was uh, an amazing w123 chassis mercedes in the junkyard uh, here in washington state that was actually just uh, you know somebody just junked it because it was sitting for a while i could see and it had actually mold on the exterior and it had like uh actually had moss on the exterior and mold inside the car but to me i looked at it i'm like man like if you watch this thing detail it, it this could have been like an amazing car this could, have been, could have been an amazing save right there you know so i mean uh, a lot of people don't understand what kind of cars they own and what they lose you know after they uh make up their decisions so be sure to love your classic mercedes and yeah i don't know how long this video is gonna be but you know i'm trying to make it like you know quick and simple guys just wanted to show you my amazing 190e and uh you know one last thing uh before i actually take you to the place uh if you guys want to see how i was picking up this car um it's gonna be uh, like right after this clip but before that please make sure you like the video subscribe and share this video with your friends this is gonna help out a lot thank you so much for all your support help really helps a lot keeping me going with these videos you know you guys are amazing and thank you for everything you guys take care and i will see you in the next one
That's good, that's good. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. I'm driving my 190E back home. I have like 100 miles left. It's crazy. I had to top off the brake fluid and trans fluid. They were all low. So as you can see, I'm really close to the steering wheel. The seat doesn't move, so I have to uh, do it this way. You know, it kind of sucks, but we have a hundred uh, miles left. Um, so hopefully everything is good. You know, we're gonna drive through Seattle, and yeah, we'll see how everything goes, guys. All right, guys, it's getting dark. We're doing fine. Um, still have like 90,000, uh, 90,000, 90 miles left until destination. Um, yeah, everybody is looking at my car. Everybody's curious. There was some old school Acura RSX that wanted, uh, was really curious about my car. <laughs> On the highway, they were looking at me. So that's pretty funny. 